Welcome back to Let's Dig Deep Rock Galactic Survivor. I'm Burning Dog Face. And, uh. I'd like to give a shout out to Elthwar, who says, I figure the starting gold is at least part of the paycheck, so starting with gold is either getting part of the salary in advance or improved budgeting on the part of the dwarf. Personally, I think it's probably getting advanced pay, because that seems more likely. I like that. And shout out to, uh, Derek Floyd, who adds, uh, an explanation for something I wasn't sure on. Plasma projectiles bounce. If you get that and the mining overclock on the turrets, they will shred the walls like paper. That combo synchronizes very well with scanner artifacts, which I can imagine, since you just be breaking walls all the time, and there's a chance to get, what is it, XP, gold, or nitra every time you, uh, you break stone. Get all of that in the salt pits and watch the goodies fly. And, uh, shout out to Justin Jones, who says, The Gotrek and Felix, uh, series is a series that delves, pun very much intended, into dwarf culture while also telling some damn good stories. Each novel tells one of many stories about a slayer named Gotrek as he tries to finally die while killing a worthy foe. He is accompanied by his chronicler, Fien Felix, who has the task of recording all of his battles and ultimately how he fulfilled his oath to Grimnar. The series starts off kind of silly, but it gets fucking dark quick. The novel called Slayer almost had me in tears. But with Age of Sigmar, they had to go and fuck up what was a perfect ending to a series of a dwarf trying to die gloriously to avenge the terrible wrong he had perpetrated. Oh dear. Well. Maybe I can do this. I have actually tried that same fucking one before. The Weapon Mastery run. On our gun platform, friend. Is this just every fucking gun I have? Probably. Impact Axe. Huh. Maybe it's more guns I don't have. But since I can only go with the starting weapons of the, three of the first three classes, which is interesting, I shall go with... Uh, oh, there's the Subata down there. Upgrade Subata when I, or 120, it is a 1, to level 12. Interesting. Oh! I didn't even fucking notice that! Mastery bonus. 1 and then a symbol. Plus 3% damage, plus 3% reload speed. The more of these run- if I complete a run, it Im permanently improves that weapon. This game's really thought of fucking everything. All right, let's go with the LMG gun platform. This sentry's my special friend. Hazard one, please. Wait, what are the things saying there? Yeah. This sentry's my special friend. Uh. Oh. Wait, that would be stupid of me. Maintenance worker gives access to construct weapons because I can only get the one weapon. Although it does, actually, now that I see it, the, uh, the gun platform is a construct weapon, and it gives a bonus to them. Plus 10% damage, plus 10% reload speed. Weapons start at weapon level 3. Ooh. Tell you what, I will go with uh, Maintenance Worker to get the damage and reload speed bonus, but, uh, might have to try the other way if I just can't figure this out. I love building stuff! Okay. Either the Dreadnought goes, or we send in another dwarf. You'll be on your own in there. Make it count. Uh, more damage. Magnite. Ah, uh, dig so much more slowly than the guy whose entire job is digging. Oh, all right, they really want me to get a paint job and increase the, uh, the level of this thing. I always waste my money on cosmetics. Can't send in supplies until you clear out the landing zone. 
down here. Nice. nice. Three mushrooms. I mean, just, uh, ow. Worth it. Oh, right, fuck. I was expecting to just walk through that again. Speed, please. I'm a better dwarf than yesterday. Right, Get ready. Oh. He'll be with his shoulder. Take that real quick and then touch this. Ancient knowledge gain three levels. Or gold or nitro when mining any kind of rock. I guess I'll give myself the nitra scanner. Since I very rarely have a lot of nitra. I'm raring to try this out. Reload speed. I'm growing stronger. Oh dear. Stupid bugs, get out of the way. Change the damage type to electrical with battery bullets, or extra capacity plus one turrets. Let's do that. Overclock, my favorite type of clock. I thought it was three to begin with. Plus fifty percent fire raid, you say? Thank you. I do love legendary upgrades. That didn't sound like joy, did it? More reloads. Wait, let me see the numbers on this. Yeah, more reload speed. Another plus 50% fire rate. God damn! This upgrade's gonna change my life! And now. Uh, more critical chance, even if it is plus three percent. This makes my whole life better. Oh. Oh. Never felt better. Four. Yes. Fire rate than anything else. Uh, more. I guess level it up then. Can I paint my nails to match it? Nice. Diving deeper, taking you to stage two. Oh, hell, there was a mushroom right there. Don't mind if I do. More damage. Disposable tech turrets explode and they are removed. Tank tracks the turrets will follow you around. That's a, that's a great one to have. Uh, more luck, you say? Yes. This is perfect for my build. Flat out yes. Fast little legs. Yes, that one too. Hell yes. Are there any other comments in here? Uh Oh yes, shout out to Elthwar who says uh, on the same subject as the as uh, books about dwarves. I'd like to add that the Dwarven Grudge story came as the fantasy setting was getting much more grim dark, though fantasy was never particularly bright to begin with. It just had the relative power scale a little more. 
even between the different factions. Plus, I was picking one of the most extreme examples. The Dwarves of Warhammer are also famed for their loyalty, being one of the uh, most reliable allies of the Empire, and having given an oath of brotherhood to Sigmar, and passing it down through his successors. Plus, the last High King actually was a reformist, looking to focus more on rebuil uh, rebuilding the lost Dwarven holds and developing new technologies. Though avenging grudges is still a major part of the agenda, he just wants his people to be more than just revenge seekers. I can certainly understand that. Just beasties to shoot and work to be done. Get to it, miner. Oh, there's one of those cores right below me. But also this, these pearls. Give me that radioactive core! Yoink! remind myself that if I don't touch the stick while I'm digging, he'll keep digging anyway, and he'll drop turrets. Oh, hell! Get them! I love these devastating explosions along with waves of uh, experience flying all over the place. I remind myself. Oh yes, more reload speed, certainly. Oh no, a hoarder. Uh, uh, I saw that one. There was a bit of nitra there. And how did you put the beacon inside the fucking wall? To fight for your life. Big swarm is approaching. I can see that. I don't love this. Oh shit. Like fire rate is when I have in spades? Yeah. So reload speed. Ah now. Dear. I'm gonna grab the red sugar cube because I feel like this is gonna go poorly for me in about one second. I can't get stuff. Oh, how did I avoid those giant explosions? On that note, though, plus 30% pickup radius is looking awfully uh, tempting right about now. What's my reload speed at? Decent, decent enough, plus 60%, so I don't know that I need plus 35% right this second. We don't see these every day. Pocket magnets! Oh, uh, plus 25% piercing, yes please! Ah! More damage. Mining speed. What just exploded over there? How the hell do I get out of this alive? Oh dear. I'm raring to try this out. I'll just go with 10% damage. Try to get away from the boss. Oh, uh, mushrooms. Well done, you got more. More damage. Yeah. Unstable overclock adds three extra charges. LMG overload plus 150% fire rate minus 15 accuracy. 
Greatly increases fire rate at the cost of accuracy, I can see that. I kind of want to see what all these fucking turrets look like. Oh, fuck! I might just make it out alive. Ah, uh, explodey men! I don't dare get in there. That elite never stood a chance. Let's get to that sea of experience. Here on the house when you make it back, if you make it back. I'm ready to get hurt again. More health, but I'm not full. Uh, more piercing, please. I rarely pick one of these. I can check this here. Awesome. And more reload speed. Oh, I can't afford that. Fine. Then plus nine percent uh, critical chance. This makes my whole life better. And more uh, pickup rates. Cowabunga! The dreadnought will emerge when you destroy the small cocoons. And watch out for elites. Two of them are right next to us. Nice. Make it out just fine. You want something done right? Look at all these turrets. Chew him up, boys! Shredding this Mactera. Increases the damage of all your weapons by 15%. I guess I'll take that. Bingo. Kill that fucking bug. Second thought, I will not stop for that mineral right there. Although the crowd seems to be working at it just fine by themselves. Sugar from the ground out of your uh, into your mouth. Out of. Damn it, brain. And that's another uh, cocoon popped. Oh shit. Very poorly. Uh, more health. This is at plus ten, but you know, whatever, man. <sighs> okay, you open that cocoon. I will get the drop pod ready. Crystal! That one was. Get this thing! Oh boy. Oh god. I think I will go with the. Hmm, the shield belt or the ration pack? I'm gonna go with a ration pack. More reload speed. Get 
at all this experience. Look for health. There. That's not health. That's gold. Ah! as if I needed more uh, reasons to be anxious right now. Pocket magnets. Move, man, move! We're all dwarf kind! Sugar. Ah! No, not the elite. Fuck. They slap me around and I don't like it. Drop all the turrets, drop all the turrets, drop all the turrets. And here is the dreadnought. Hey, we just let you out, man. Give me a chance here. Plus 12% reload speed. I should note for Justin's sake that what's actually reloading is my ability to drop turrets, not the turrets themselves. They have a lifetime. Oh, no, go for gold now, you fool. Vacuum up all this experience. More critical chance! So How does that not hit me with the big shockwave it lets go of? Uh, pardon me, pardon me. Stand still and drop him on the floor. I don't have a moment. There's bugs everywhere. have to make the only reference in this situation that someone my age can make. I'll get you next time, Gadget. Next time. Level 21 weapon. Fuck me. Still the base damage is only 80, uh, 44. Oh no, the, uh, the, sorry, the cumulative damage was 44. Yeah, each turret seems to last 10 seconds after I drop it. Which, again, much more useful when they have the treads. Oh, boy. Well. I guess that'll about do it for this run. We will still have to wait to see uh, a victory in mastery. I guess I will just have to be patient and, you know, earn some proper levels with upgrades and such. Speaking of which... Ah, uh, yes. Oh, but... Increase XP gain or pocket magnets with my, uh... Enor pearls. Oh, that's not Enor pearls. That's the, uh, uh... It's one of, like, th it's one of two different green ones. I don't know. Oh, interesting. Pocket magnets needs a reactor to upgrade. As well as the other things. I've got that. It's just... 
Wait, how many reactors do I have? Right. So I can get this. Increase the weapon's reload speed. Flat increase damage. All right, let's get XP gain to a flat 10% bonus. Nice. And let's increase... Look at that, all three of these are at the same level. Reload speed, uh, fire rate, and heavy bullet, and uh, damage. So let's go with damage. Bring it up to a nice 20%. for generation and max HP, you say. Well, I do kind of feel bad for the gold cash one, so let's get increase the amount of gold I start with to six. This one's, uh, aren't too expensive yet. Okay. Uh, yeah. But yes, every point I spend on this screen makes every dwarf I send down into the mines much much better. Well, maybe a tiny bit better. And I like that there's a refund all button, so, you know, if you realize, oh, I could have gone with this, and, you know, played it into my favorite build, then you can just do that. Does that actually cost anything? No, it doesn't even bring up a price when I uh, select that uh, icon, or go over that button, or whatever you want to call it. Have I not reached 75% reload speed on anything? Huh. Eurotoxin grenade? Reach class rank 15 on the driller. Hot damn. Barley bulb juice? Uh, reach 50% move speed. Hmm. I wonder if I have to do that with a specific class, or if I've just really not done that. Die three times. Deal... Oh, oh great. Yes, elite joke. Deal over 1,337 damage in one attack. You get pickled nitra. Whatever that means. Oh, look at that. Level up a thousand times, you unlock energy bars. I have done it 577 times. Equip 10 overclocks in a single dive? How the fuck? Acquire 10 total mastery points, unlock weapon box. That should be interesting. Maybe it's like it just drops fucking random weapons in the environment with you. Either way, I'm Burning Dogface, and I will see you next time on Let's Dig Deep Rock Galactic Survivor. When the dwarves continue to do what dwarves do. And we continue to rock face against the Glyphid Hordes. Till then, have yourselves a great day, Burning Dog fans. Later.